Today we're going to be discussing the general ledger and financial reporting in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, including chart of accounts, dimensions, general journals, and financial reporting. Hello Dynamics community. I'm Dave from Bond Consulting Services. One of our experts, Lupe, will be discussing the general ledger and financial reporting functionality and benefits of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Let's get started. To review the chart of accounts, we would go under Finance, Chart of Accounts. Once we navigate to the Chart of Accounts page, we would see a list of all the accounts. Here we could click on any one of the account numbers and that will go ahead and open the account page. Typically in Business Central, the number is the natural account segment of the account. The name would be a description of the account. Income and balance sheet field would just specify if it's an income statement or balance sheet account. Under account category, we have the basic categories of assets, liabilities, equity, income, cost of goods sold, and expense. The account subcategory is user defined and it could be set up as needed by company. The debit and credit field will specify the natural balance of the account. Under account type, we would select posting if it's an account that we're going to record transactions to. Direct posting will allow transactions to be posted to this account. If we want to block any transactions from being posted to this account, we could turn on the block option. In Business Central, we have what we call dimensions. So under Finance, we could find dimensions. These are additional categories and information that you could track within your general ledger. For example, department. Under department, we could click on dimension, dimension values. And this will give us a list of the corresponding values that are available for this dimension. So if you want to keep track of a specific expense by department, you could set up a dimension and record the appropriate transactions with the correct code. Going back to our chart of accounts, if we open one of the accounts, for example, our income account, under account, we would select ledger entries. The ledger entries will show us a history of all the transactions posted to this specific account. As you can see here, the additional dimensions will also be reflected within here to specify the corresponding additional information. If we want to drill down to any specific transaction, we could click on the record and under entry, select find entries. This would give us a list of all the ledgers that this transaction was posted to, including the posted sales invoice. If we want to review the full journal entry related to this line item, we could also click on the number of entries and see a list of all the journal entry lines. If we want to review the full journal entry, we could click on the geo entry. This would give us a list of all the journal entry lines related to the general ledger entry. Within the general ledger entries, you also have an option to export the list out to Excel, selecting the open in Excel option. Or we could also click on the filter pane to add any filters as needed. To enter a journal entry, we would go under Finance, General Journals. Here, we could create different batches 
to store the different transactions as needed. In this case, we'll go ahead and open the default batch. Under the default batch, we could see two different views. In this one, we have the debit and credit columns. Under page, we could select show more columns for a list view as well. Under document number, the journal entry number will automatically be populated. Under posting date, you can specify the date of your transaction. And then now you can navigate to the account number to specify the accounts. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select one of our expense accounts. Enter a description. And enter the amount in the corresponding debit or credit column. Now go ahead and enter the second line item. And you could also click on F8 to copy the description from the line above. Thank you, Lupe, for showcasing the Dynamics 365 capabilities. And thank you, Dynamics community, for your attention. We hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about utilizing Dynamics 365 to grow your business. Click here for our related videos. Utilize our website down below.